At that time, the disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And Jesus cautioned them, saying, Watch out, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. And they, be and they began to discuss began discussing with one another the fact that they had no bread. And Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why are you discussing the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Having eyes you do not see, and having ears you do not hear. And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand? How many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? They said to him, Twelve. And the seven for the four thousand? How many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? And they said to him, Seven. And he said to them, Do you not yet understand? The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, yesterday we saw the blindness of the Pharisees in asking Jesus to give some sign of his authority from God. Today we see the blindness of Jesus' own disciples. This, of course, is pointing to our blindness in not recognizing the clear presence of God in our own lives. The disciples are traveling across the lake in the boat. They had forgotten to bring the food with them. And there was only one loaf between them all. As they crossed the lake, Jesus says to them, Keep your eyes open. Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. For the Jews, yeast was a corrupting agent because it caused fermentation. That is why at the Passover, they ate unleavened, incorrupt bread. And Paul tells the Corinthians, Get rid of all the old yeast and make yourselves into a completely new batch of bread, unleavened as you are meant to be. Jesus is telling his disciples to avoid two opposing kinds of corruption. The first is that of Pharisees, which is based on narrow-minded and intolerant legalism. The second is that of Herod, which is based on amoral and hedonistic pleasure-seeking. However, the disciples are not really listening to their master. They latch onto the word yeast and link it with their present obsession, not enough bread. Their lunch is the only thing on their minds. And Jesus, of course, knows what is going in their minds. He scolds them, You are worried about having no bread. Do you not understand? Do you not perceive? Are your minds closed? Have you eyes that do not see? Ears that do not hear? Do you not remember? Jesus is reminding them that with five loaves, he fed 5,000 with 12 baskets left over. And again, with seven loaves, he fed 4,000 
with seven baskets left over. And now, they, a mere dozen people, are worried about being short of food when Jesus is with them. Mark tends to be very demanding on the disciples. They cannot see, they cannot hear, they fail to understand what is happening before their very eyes. But they are learning gradually, as we shall see. Of course, Mark is firing his shots, not just at the disciples, but at you and me. How much faith have we got in God's care for us? Can we hear? Can we see? Are we also without understanding? These are the questions we need to reflect. Today, as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us ponder on these questions. Amen.